Hello everyone, so the day has finally come where I'm going to show you my entire movie and TV show collection. Wow, it's going to be a very long video, so sit tight, and uh, my arm's going to hurt at the very end of this. It's already hurting. I'm using a selfie stick, by the way, on this camera, so it's kind of awkward and not really where it's supposed to be, but um, yeah, but I'm really excited to show you guys my entire collection. I think my collection is quite unique compared to others that I've seen. Um, being a, a, a woman and, you know, liking weird things, I think it's going to make my collection a little bit different than others have seen. I like so many different genres, whether it's LGBT, foreign, silent film, older, like, older classics, um, to new film and, you know, the typical rom-com and action and all that jazz. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to show you mainly the spines. I think I might pop out a couple of them, maybe like Criterion and whatnot. I also keep my Blu-rays and DVDs together for the most part. I do collect DVDs, and I'm going to say it one more time because people might ask. I collect DVDs mainly because when I don't have a Blu-ray player, when I mainly watch my movies on my Mac computer, which has only a DVD player. And also, I mainly, well, I've been collecting DVDs for so long that why would I get a Blu-ray of the same thing? Um, so I've been slowly but surely kind of buying them if they come with the DVD and Blu-ray. Um, so I made sure the quality might be better, but because I've been doing it for so long that I just like, I don't know, I just, I've always collected DVDs, so why I have to like convert? Plus, you know, DVDs are most part cheaper. So there's that. If I get that question, there's your answer. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a very long video and I hope you guys enjoy watching and also my arm keeps moving. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so. Let's get into this before this video is even longer than it needs to be. First, I'll show you just the overview of the entire thing before I get started. And also, I will show you all the miscellaneous stuff that is on the tops and this random place. And also, my book collection, which is very small, but it's growing. Uh, yeah, so let's start with the tops of this one. This one is just all movies. And then a little bit over here, right there. And then books. And then those are my TV shows for the moment. So I'm very short, I'm actually only 5'2", if not a little less than that. So I can't really like show you the tops, luckily I have this stick to kind of show me. But here, this um, right here is my uh, wand from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's Hermione's wand, and it's like the tree branch, you know if you watch Harry Potter, you know. Um, I got this quite a many years ago. Um, I didn't like Harry Potter at the time as much as I do not actually, I don't think I even saw all the movies, um, but I just really like that one because also Hermione's awesome and also it looks really cool. And then I also have Hedwig. It's a puppet. I had no idea it had a hole up its ass till after I got home. I'm like, whoa, hello, surprise, but well, it was very strange. Um, but he's adorable and he's a little dusty, but he's so cute. And then I have my Mickey Mouse ears that I got from Disney World when I went like four years ago. Also, sorry, I keep fucking moving. I have no control. And then also my Glee faux finger. I went to the Glee Live concert in 2011. Um, in Chicago and it was like one of my first very first concerts and so although I don't like you know of course you know Glee is over and it's not like you know the best show I love it and it helped me through many many hard times so uh, you know gotta represent my love for Glee even though it's not you know something you should be that proud of sometimes but I love it so whoa so I don't really have my Glee posters up anymore or anything so and then around here I have like this little lighting it's actually little daisies Ooh, sorry, there's my window. They're really not very bright, are they? <laughs> I think I need to change the battery. Okay, now I'm going to start with the movies. Oh, it's kind of blurry. Okay. I start with numerical order first, um, and then I go alphabetical order except for the. So, like, if something starts with the, I just do the next word. I don't know why. I just always have done that. Um, everything else is, like, and or something other, like a smaller letter like that. It's It stays where it is, but, like, the, for some reason, I just don't do that. So, um, also the ones that are sticking out are like the ones I've gotten last month. So if I didn't do an update, so that just kind of keeps me where my most recent ones I bought. So let's go into it. So we have 10 things I hate about you, 12 angry men, 12 years of slave, 17 again, 21 jump street, 22 jump street, 27 dresses, the 40 year old version, 50, 50, 2001, a space odyssey, about time, a bug's life. By the way, sorry for the really crappy quality. I don't know how to film this. Okay, a Cinderella story across the universe, the Adams Family and the Adams Family Values, Admission, Adventureland, the African Queen, Aladdin, Alien, All the President's Men, Almost Famous, Alpha Dog, The Amazing Spider-Man, Emily, oh, I'm sorry, Amelie, 
Amelie, which is one of my favorite movies of all time, American Beauty, American Graffiti, American History X, American Pie, the Three Pie, Movie Pie Pack, Fair to Remember, and American in Paris, and Education, Annie Hall, The Apartment, Aquamarine, Argo, Arsenic and Old Lace, as good as it gets, A Streetcar Named Desire, Atonement, A Trip to the Moon, which is one of the only Blu-rays I own and also one of the oldest, if not, oh wait, it is the oldest movie I own. The Avengers, just the first one. Walk to Remember, Baby Mama, um, Back to the Future of the Trilogy, The Backup Plan, Bad Teacher, Beautiful Thing, Beauty and the Beast, Beetlejuice, Big, Big Hero 6, The Big Lebowski, Billy Elliot, the Birdcage, Blue Jasmine, Boogie Nights, Bottle Rocket, Borat, Boy Culture, Boys in the Hood, Brave, The Breakfast Club, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Bridesmaids, Bring It On, Brookback Mountain, a classic, uh, Bruce Almighty, Burn After Reading, which has some weird French on the front. Like, it says, obviously, Burn After Reading, but I have no idea why it says French. This is not a French movie, so I don't know where the hell I bought that. Too lazy to buy one without it. Cabaret. Camille, Can't Hardly Wait. Well, Camille is one with Sienna Miller and James Franco, by the way. Carrie, the remake. I don't have the original. Um, sorry. I really like Chloe Grace Moret, so it would get the pleasure. Casablanca, Castaway, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. I just put it under Catching Fire because that's what I call it, not The Hunger Games Catching Fire, even though that's what it says. Um, Catch Me If You Can, Chicago, City Lights. Also, oh, this is Criterion Collection, and this, I think, is Blu-ray and DVD. City of God, which is one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite foreign films. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Claudia with a Chance of Meatballs, Clueless, Coming to America, Confessions of a Shopaholic, Coraline, The Corpse Bride, Crazy Stupid Love, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Cruel Intentions, Cruel Intentions 2, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Daddy Daycare, which I'm pretty sure was the very first DVD I, very, I owned ever, like in 2003 or something. Dallas Buyers Club, The Darjeeling Limited, which is one of my favorite S. Anderson movies. There's many more you will see. The Dark Knight, Dazed and Confused. The Day After Tomorrow, The Departed. The Descendants with George Clooney and Shailene Woodley, by the way. One of the only Shailene Wood Woodley performances I really liked. The Devil Wears Prada, Disturbia, Django, Un Django Unchained, Danny Darko, Double Indemnity, Driving Miss Daisy, Dude Where's My Car. I just bought that because it's funny and stupid. Um, Easy A, which is one of my favorite movies also, and Eat, Pray, Love. Um, Edward Scissorhands, Enchanted, End of Watch, Elf, Eloise at Christmas Time, E.T., The Extraterrestrial, Fantastic Four, the, obviously not the remake, I've not seen that, but the one with Jessica Alba and Chris Evans and whatnot. Fantastic Mr. Fox, one of my favorite Wes Anderson movies. Fargo, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, The Fault in Our Stars, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Fever Pitch, The Fifth Element with a Weird Slim Case, uh, Fight Club, Flight, Footloose, the original and the remake, I like both, don't be hating. Forrest Gump, Freaky Friday, Fred Claus, or Le Frère Noël, which also has French on it. I don't understand, this is not French. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where I've been buying these things. Frozen, Full Metal Jacket, Funny Face, Funny Girl, GBF, The General, uh, gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Get Over It, Get Real, which is my favorite LBGT film besides The Way He Looks, which will be at the very end. But this is out of print, actually, so I had to find this randomly like, as a former rental. Uh, it's a UK film from the 90s, so I oh, love it so much. Ghostbusters, don't have the sequel, unfortunately. I cannot find it separately for the same price as that one. The Girl Next Door, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which is also a Blu-ray in there, too. The, you can tell with the smaller um, case, the shorter case, I mean. The Giver, Glee the Concert Movie, The Godfather the Three Movie Collection. I have not even opened this. I've only seen the first one so far, but they're just so long, I just didn't have time. And I was going to return this because I'm like, oh, well, I really watch these, but I've kept them. So, The Gold Rush, which is Criterion, um, Gone Girl with another slim case, but that's like all of them that I found are the same. Gone with the Wind, Goodfellas. I'm also trying to collect most of the American Film Institute Top 100, current Top 100. Um, I know next year they will re-update it, but uh, that's kind of a something I like to do when I collect or even watch movies is try to watch most of the American Film Institute Top 100 because I know they're going to be good. So I, I have a lot of them, not all of them, but I have quite a bit. Anyways, back to the movies. Um, the Good Girl, Good Will Hunting, The Goonies, The Grand Budapest Hotel, um, Gravity, Grease, the Green Mile, Guardians of the Galaxy, Gremlins, Groundhog Day, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Hairspray, Harold and Maude, Harry Potter, The Complete Eight Film Collection, Heathers, The Help, His Girl Friday, Another Slim Case, um, Hocus Pocus, Holiday, The Holiday, uh, Home Alone, The Four Films, of course, you know, everyone only likes the first two, 
myself included, but I've had this for so long. Hotel Rwanda, which is one of the only films I've ever like hardcore cried from. Um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, The House Bunny, don't ask why I have that. The Hunger Games, I Am Sam, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and When a Stranger Calls, double feature that I got cheap at Walmart because I like both of them, so why not? I Love You, Beth Cooper, I Love You, Man, don't know why that's sticking out. Uh, I Love You, Philip Mor Morris, The Imitation Game, I Read Fish, In and Out, Inception, The Incredibles, which is obviously one of the more recent ones I got, um, and Glorious Bastards, and one of my favorite movies. Into the Wild, Interstellar, It Happened One Night, It's a Wonderful Life, it's kind of a funny story. Also, these are out of order, I'm so sorry, um, they're just, oh, they're so hard to keep organized when I get new ones. Um, Jackie Brown, Jaws, John Tucker Must Die, one of my older movies I've owned as well. Um, Jumanji, Juno, Jurassic Park, The Karate Kid, Kick-Ass, Kick-Ass 2, The Kid, and then it has another Charlie Chaplin film in there called Tilly's Punctured Romance. I've only seen The Kid. I'm a big Charlie Chaplin fan, so I really need to like, get on with more. I really want The Great Dictator next. Um, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, just easier to buy both of them together. Kingsman, The Secret Service, um, The King's Speech, Lady and the Tramp, The Last Song, Leap Year, uh, Legally Blonde, Let Me In, The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou. Um, Life is Beautiful, Life of Pi, Lilo and Stitch, The Lion King, Little Ashes, Little Miss Sunshine, one of my older DVDs as well. When I first got that, I accidentally like, ripped the freaking thing already. I'm an idiot, even as a child. The Little Mermaid, Little Shop of Horrors, Lizzie McGuire movie, yes. Lottery Ticket, another guilty pleasure. Uh, Love Actually, Lovely and Amazing, Maleficent, Mamma Mia, The Martian, M.A.S.H., the TV's, not the TV series, the movie before the TV series. Matilda, Mean Girls, Memoirs of a Geisha, Milk, uh, Miss Congeniality 1 and 2. By the way, I've seen Milk so many freaking times, you guys. Amazing. Uh, Modern Times, which is Criterion, but not um, DVD, I don't think. I mean, not Blu-ray. This is obviously a DVD. Uh, Moonrise Kingdom, another of my favorite Wes Anderson movies, one of my favorite movies in general. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, another Blu-ray, which is just Blu-ray, and I've mentioned this before, but I just thought it was so awesome that I wanted it. I didn't even care if I don't have a Blu-ray player. Mulan, my big fat Greek wedding. My neighbor Totoro, Nancy Drew, I know, another guilty pleasure. I had this movie for a while, and I really like Emma Roberts, so whatever. Napoleon Dynamite, um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which I didn't really like that much, but I bought it for my mom, and she never opened it, so I kept it. Never Been Kissed, Nicktoons Halloween, which is like all the Halloween specials from like older Nicktoon cartoons, not like old, old ones, but like Spongebob, Rugrats, Rocket Power, Fairly Odd Parents, and Hey Arnold, so it should be under my TV shows, but I've had it in here so long, I don't care. Nightcrawler, No Country for Old Men, The Normal Heart, one of the best movies of like, well, I don't know what year that came out, last year or the year before, I don't remember, but it was just, it was a tear fest. And then North by Northwest, Now You See Me, Ocean's Eleven, the trilogy, obviously 11, 12, and 13, the m most recent ones with George Clooney and all them, not like the older version. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, One Hour Photo Outrage, and it's a um, LBGT documentary from 2004, so it's pretty outdated, but it's very interesting. Panic Room, The Parent Trap, Patch Adams, Philadelphia, Philadelphia Story, Philomena, The Pianist, Platoon, The Polar Express, Pride, oh, what a great movie. Disney's Prom, I've had this for a while, it's a guilty pleasure, don't judge me. <laughs> it's, it's good, it's like, good, like, you know, wholesome, you know, Disney Channel sort of esque movie. The Proposal, P.S. I Love You, Psycho, Pulp Fiction, two of my favorite movies. Uh, weird that those are next to them. Got my chick flicks too. Um, the Pursuit of Happiness, Rain Man, Raising Arizona, Ratatouille, The Reader, sorry I'm like shaking like nobody's business. Um, Rear Window, Rebel Without a Cause, Rent, Reservoir Dogs, Rise of the Guardians, um, Rocky Another Slim Case, weird. A Rocky Horror Picture Show, Roman Holiday, Romeo plus Juliet, or Romeo and Juliet, the uh, Baz Luhrmann version with Leo and Claire Danes. Um, the Real Tenenbaums, this is also a criterion, but it's like like new or used, so it's not the best quality, but I don't care. Um, Rugrats, the trilogy movie collection with the original Rugrats movie, the Rugrats go to uh, in Paris, and then the Rugrats with the Wild Thornberries, obviously. Um, Rushmore, Sabrina. I was like a humongous Rugrats fan, by the way, like as a kid. Oh, Chucky, I wanted to marry Chucky. I don't even care. He's like, he's my type of guy. You know, I love nerds. Okay, anyways, The Sandlot, Saturday Night Fever, Saving Private Ryan, Saved. It's 
Scary Movie 1, 2, and 4. Don't have 3 because at the time when I was looking for 3, I could never find it. So it's been years and I just haven't even thought about it. Schindler's List, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Scream 1, 2, and 3, and 4. I've had this for so long. I'm a huge Scream fan. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it's my favorite horror series. I don't like horror, but I love Scream. I love... I don't know. I just love that Wes Craven 90s vibe, and I love the um, remake TV series on MTV. It's really good, unexpected, um, but I even has the ghost face. I even have the ghost face mask that used to be on my bedroom wall. Like, I don't know. I just love Scream. Even though Scream 4 wasn't as good, it was still good you know like I, I did not I don't like hate it or anything the secret life of Walter Mitty serenity seven Shakespeare in love Shaun of the dead the Shawshank Redemption she's the man the shining sideways Silence of the lamb silver linings playbook sin city singing in the rain the, the sisterhood of the traveling pants the sixth sense sleepless in Seattle some dog millionaire I've seen this so many freaking times in the last however many years oh I love that movie so much I have a humongous crush on Dev Patel. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, The Social Network, Some Like It Hot, The Sound of Music, Spirited Away, Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness, the J.J. Abrams versions, obviously, Star Trek, I'm sorry, I just did that on accident, Star Wars, the original trilogy, episodes five, 4, 5, and 6, and then Star Wars, The Force Awakens, don't have the prequels because I don't like the prequels, I know, but I really don't like the prequels, but, um, they're both Blu-ray and DVD, and I just bought this one with Blu-ray and DVD in it because I had the other ones like that. So, yay! Uh, I love it. Steel Magnolia, Stick It, Struck by Lightning, Summer Storm, which is a great foreign film and LBGT film. It's a German film, and it's awesome. Please watch it. Super Bad, Sydney White, Tangled. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tangled. Uh, Tarzan, The Terminal, Tears of, Terms of Endearment, Thelma and Louise, The Theory of Everything, There's Something About Mary, 13, This is 40, This is the End, oh, so funny, um, Titanic, Tootsie, Toy Story 3, I don't have the other Toy Stories, the other two, the earlier ones, I just, I have not gotten around to it, and I don't know, I just, at the time, I really wanted Toy Story 3, uh, it kind of bugs me that I don't have the other ones, okay. Now we're gonna go to the very last shelf. Okay, so now we're at the very last shelf and here's my little baby Buddha. And then we have traffic. He's happiness, by the way. I don't really necessarily like believe in any religion, but like he's just so adorable, I couldn't resist. Anyways, so we got traffic, Transamerica, Tristan and Isolde, uh, Tropic Thunder, The Truman Show, Unaccompanied Minors, Valentine's Day, Vicky Cristina Barcelona, um, Warm Body is the way he looks, which is my favorite foreign film, well, besides Amelie, and my favorite LBDT film. It's two amazing things all in one. It's on Netflix. Please go watch it. You will love it. I know you will. I know I did. I've seen it quite a few times. All right, The Way Way Back, The Wedding Singer, West Side Story, Wet Hot American Summer, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, When Harry Met Sally, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, obviously not the remake, but the original with Gene Wilder. A Winter's Bone, which I didn't like, but it was a blind buy. The Wizard of Oz, The Women, The World's End, Wreck-It Ralph, X-Men, the original trilogy, which X-Men, X2, uh, X-Men United, and X-Men The Last Stand. This was actually the very first movie, X-Men movie I saw. My friend wanted to see it. I had no idea what it was about, but we saw it, and then I liked him since then. And then X-Men First Class, and then X-Men Days of Future Past. You've got Mail, which is my favorite, for one, Tom Hanks movie, favorite Meg Ryan movie, for three, my favorite rom-com, and one of my favorite movies of all time, both 90s and in general, I fucking love this movie. It's the best, like, enemies to lovers movie ever. I love it so much. Um, and then Zodiac and Zombieland. And next I will show you my CDs. Um, and whatever else is on this shelf and whatnot. I have my CD collection that does not include my K-pop albums or my old Glee CDs or my old Fall Out Boy CDs or all my, all my Panic at the Disco CDs. This is just ones that I've recently bought, so I just put them here or like they've had them out, so I just put them all there. Um, we've got Adele 21, Adele 25, Glee, um, the music presents the Warblers. I know I said I wouldn't have my Glee ones, but I, that's my favorite Glee album, so I put it there. Owl City, Ocean Eyes, I can't even read that. Oh, Tori Kelly, Unbreakable Smile, 
oh, she's amazing, Stromae Racine Carré, which is a um, French R&B, hip-hop kind of singer. Oh, he's the best. I love him so much. Um, Sam Smith in The Lonely Hour, of course, you know, Bay And Weezer, the Blue Album. Woohoo, that has Buddy Holly on it. So, of course, and Say It Ain't So, yes. As long as, as well as, like, the sweater song and all that stuff, and shit. Okay, anyways. And then I have E.T. I don't know why I found this one day in my house. I don't know where I got it from, but it's adorable, and he has a little hoodie on. It's a keychain, actually, but I like it as a little stuffed animal. I have this Dexter bobblehead my aunt gave me when I was obsessed with Dexter. I used to have a knife behind its back, but I lost it, so that's kind of creepy. And then I have Rugrats um, in Paris. This, I've had this movie since I was, like, seven or something. I have a little card in there, or, like, second grade, second and third grade, where it says, like, all my information back in the day. It was so cute. Um, and then I have also Breakfast at Tiffany's, the VHS. Both of these are VHS. I just don't have a VHS player. Actually, I do, but I don't watch VHS. But I really liked, um, I found this at, like, Goodwill or something, and I just really liked the cover of it. Simple. I like it way more than the DVD version. So before I get into my TV shows, I'll show you the other tops of this shelf. Um, I have my Adipose Pop Funko doll. I don't have a lot of these. I, I work at a bookstore. We have a lot of them, but I just don't want to get too many. But this one I really wanted because, oh, I love the Adipose. That's one of my favorite episodes from Doctor Who. Um, and then I have this, like, shadow boxing my aunt gave me. She, whenever I'm into something, she, like, buys me all the things. And then I have, like, a little movie clapper because it's, you know, cute decoration. I have Buffy the Vampire Sp Slayer. <laughs> I have Buffy the Vampire Slayer's Spike, who's my favorite character from Buffy. I love Buffy so much, and it's Buffy for life. I have this little, you know, just decoration of popcorn thing, and then I have another decoration that my aunt gave me. I really like this one. This one's like, you know, a little wall art or whatever. I like it. So I bought a globe like a year or so ago. I just really wanted one. So it just makes me look smarter, and also I just really like it. It's super awesome, and you know, I think it's important to have because it's really cool to see all the places in the world. Oh, there's South Korea. Where is it actually? <laughs> there it is. Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyways, um, when I bought It's a Wonderful Life in this package, I got this little decoration. I think it's an ornament. It's like the silent bell from the movie. It doesn't have a little jingle in there, so that's kind of cute. Um, I have my little Chewbacca stuff thing. I have Wes Anderson's um, collection, the Wes Anderson collection. It has facts and, and information about all his movies as well as art um, behind the scenes and like the little cool things. That's why I really like Criterion Collection because it reminds me so much of the Wes Anderson like theme. So, um, and then I have R2-D2 and my Bay C-3PO. They're like little bobblehead but they're not like really. I bought these at Barnes & Noble a few years ago. I really like them. And then I bought this um, these little Pop Funko minis of Nightmare Before Christmas, which I don't own, but this was like $3 or something, and I've, I've been wanting to buy, I just haven't, you know, I haven't found it at a good price, but I was like, these are so cute, Jack and Sally and the Oogie Boogie, so, I don't know, the Boogie Monster, okay, so, there's that shelf, this used to have a lot more random stuff on there when I used to have my room, but, I have no idea what I'm doing with it, so I just kind of put that together. And then here I have the little spirits, like four spirits, or whatever they're called, from Princess Mononoke. I found these on Wish.com. It's not my favorite Studio Ghibli film, but I think they're like supposed to be glow in the dark or something, but they're just really freaking cute. And also I have the little, little, I don't know what you call those, dust sprites or something from Spirited Away. They came with it for free. I had no idea I was getting that. So, I'll quick. Okay, quickly we're going to show you my book collection. I don't have a lot. It's a growing process. And I, I have not read all these. So them, some of these are like to read. So we're getting there. Someday when I have more, I'll show you the entire collection in depth and whatnot. So we have Douglas Adams, Hitchhike, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. And these are the five out of, I think, six... Um, something like Summer Series by J. Bell, which is one of my favorite books of all time, especially the first two, and I also really like something like Lightning. I like all of them. So I have something like Summer, something like Winter, something like Autumn, something like Spring, something like Lightning. My favorite book of all time, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Uh, Chris Holfer's The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell, his very first one. I just got it to support him. It is like a children's, you know, middle school book or whatever, fairy tales, but, you know, he has like five of them. They're actually really big sellers. I'm really proud of him, but, you know, it's just not my my cup of tea, but it was really enjoyable when I did read it. And then Chris Colfer's Struck by Lightning, the Carson Phillips Journal, based off the Struck by Lightning movie. 
and then Suzanne Collins, The Hunger Games Trilogy. This one's in paperback, the other two in hardcover, just because I bought them all separately. So that kind of bugs me, but whatever. Um, I love this series. It's also one of my favorites. Uh, Elizabeth Gilbert's Eat, Pray, Love. I'm a huge fan of the movie, well, at the time. And so I actually read it. It's not my favorite. It's a little bit too, like, religious-based. But, I mean, not like... It's more like Buddhism and Hinduism or whatever. I can't... I think it was... Bit, I can't remember. I think it was Hinduism. Um, it's been a while since I've read it or seen it, so... Um, but it was still enjoyable. Um, the Faulkner Stars, John Green, Looking for Alaska, John Green, Paper Towns, uh, John Green, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, John Green, and David Leviathan. I read a couple of David, Le I think I've read like one or two David, David Leviathan books. I have not read this one yet. I have not had interest at the time I did, but then I kind of just like, well, I've read the other ones. I just lost interest, but maybe if they make a movie version or something, I don't know, maybe I'm from it. I'm, I'm a horrible fan. Okay, uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I've seen the movie several times, one of my faves, but I have not read the book yet, but it's pretty humongous, but I'm, I'm excited to read it. And then I have the Dexter series, um, by Jeff Lindsay, not all of them. My aunt just gave me these as a gift. I have only read some of this one, I'm just not, it's so different from the show, so I've just, I have not had interest in reading the other ones. So it was Darkly Jeremy Dexter, Dearly Devoted Dexter, Dexter in the Dark, Dexter by Design. I think there's one or two more, I'm really sure, but um, this one doesn't even have a cover on it. I have no idea why I got them as a gift. Uh, I think they're in the order of when they were released. Hero Perry Moore, one of my favorite books. Unfortunately, the author of Hero passed away. He killed himself um, a few years ago, I think. Um, so it's unfortunate that we'll never get like a spinoff or anything. So, but this is amazing LBGT film, please a film, an LBGT book. Please read it. It is so good. Um, I would love to see a gay superhero in our lifetime. Um, the Catcher in the Rye, Divergent, Eleanor and Parks uh, by Raybo Rowell. And that's all my books. And lastly of this video is my TV shows. The first I have is 10 Things About Hate About You, the ABC Family series. Don't ask why I own this. I tried to get rid of it for years and nobody would want it, so I just kept it in here, but whatever. I have the first six seasons of 30 Rock. I don't have season seven yet. I'm working on it, but um, I'm almost done. Yay! It's one of my favorite shows of all time, so I must own most all of them. So I have the first three seasons of Arrested Development. Working on the fourth one, but it's on Netflix, so it's not a big deal to me. Obviously, it's on Netflix. Um, I have the f first four seasons of Big Bang Theory. I don't watch Big Bang Theory anymore. It's not the best show, but I remember the good times. And I don't know, at the time, I, a couple years ago, I was collecting them, so there's that. I have all eight seasons of Dexter. It used to be one of my favorite shows, so I thought it was a must to have them all. I have... Uh, eight, the eight seasons of the Doctor Who um, BBC, uh, you know, revamp from 2005. I don't have season nine. I haven't even watched season nine. I watched the first episode. I just haven't gotten into it yet. I like the 12th Doctor, but I don't know. I miss the 11th Doctor with Clara. They, I like shipped him so hard. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. But yeah. Um, I have... Firefly, the complete series, of course, is just one season, unfortunately. I have all ten seasons of Friends up here. I just have the four because it wouldn't fit and it just would look a mess. So I have the other ones down here. I have all the complete series of Glee. And then I have this Glee uh, Encore thing they were selling a few years ago. I have no idea. It's just random shit. I don't even know. But you don't know, have to have it. So I have all the six seasons of Glee. I have the first and only two seasons of In the Flesh, unfortunately, but it's, it was an amazing, amazing BBC ser BBC 3 series. It was just amazing, and unfortunately, it hasn't continued, um, but hopefully someday it will, you know, the power of online streaming, um, but it's an amazing show. Please go watch it. it you will love it to bits. I have this Lizzie McGuire box set volume one. You know, it's very hard to find any of those old Disney Channel shows, but years ago I bought on Amazon, like maybe almost five years ago, so I don't know. I have the first three series of Misfits. I call them series because, you know, that's what they call them in England. Or first three seasons, which is ones all the ones that were Nathan were on, um, except for season three, but that still had, you know, mostly the original cast. Seasons four, I think five, four and five, maybe, I don't think there was a sixth season, but I just finished that show. It was not as bad without, like, you know, the original characters and whatnot, but it was still pretty good. I still enjoyed it. It wasn't as good because Nathan was what made the show, but it was still pretty enjoyable, but I have only had these ones, and they're from England, so, like, they can only play a regional free players, region free players, so they're region two. Um, some of my skins DVDs are like that, too. Um, but In the Flesh is a British show, but it, I can still play on 
my Region 1 player because I got these from Amazon. Um, and then I have seven seasons of The Office. I don't have seasons eight or nine yet because they're still pretty pricey, but I hope someday I will finish getting all The Office. It's also one of my favorite shows of all time, so it's a must. I also have The Office Secret Santa pack as all the Christmas, or if not most of the Christmas episodes. You know, some of the best, obviously. I have Pushing Daisies, seasons one and two, the only two seasons, which I love the show. It's very underrated and unfortunately got canceled too early in. And even the series finale was just, you know, so rushed. It was just... Oh. Okay, so I have Queer's Folk season one. I don't have the other four seasons just because they're, we're at the, I don't know if they are at the moment, but when I bought this one, they were so expensive. And this one is like super shitty. I got this like, I don't know where, but it is not good quality, like box wise. But I love the show. I just, I don't think I'll ever probably get the other ones anytime soon. But you know, never say never. I have, I found this at my house. It's, uh, but I really like Saturday Night Live. So it's, um, the best of Eddie Murphy. I'm pretty sure this was in my house. I don't know. But Saturday Night Live. I grew up on Saturday Night Live when I got older and I was allowed to watch it. So I figured why not. I have the first five seasons of Shameless. I have not been watching season six mainly because Mickey's not on there. And if he is, he's barely in it at all. So I've just kind of lost interest. But I love Shameless. I love what it used to be. And I hope that someday I can kind of jump back into it. I, like I said, I haven't been watching it. So I don't know if it's, you know, still good or not. I just have lost interest, interest in it. But I've, I watched it since the very first episode came out um, from Showtime. I watched it the next day or whatever on YouTube when they do that on there sometimes. Like the first episode of each season. So I have um, six seasons of Skin. I don't, Skins, I don't have the seventh, um, the final like three, what was it? Three separate stories of Cassie, Cook, and Effie or actually that was backwards. So Effie, Cassie and then Cook, um, but I do like that. I just it's very hard to find. So here's the first four, and then the other two, three of them. I can't play on Region One. Three of them I cannot. I can play on Region Two. So they're the most recent ones that I can't play on Region One. But I love Skins. I don't care if it went downhill after you know the first cast, but and you know the original generation. But I still like them. So um, I have all eight seasons of Weeds. I used to love the show. I hope to someday kind of rewatch all of it, but uh, yeah. And then finally, Will and Grace, the complete series, all eight seasons. This is also one of my favorite shows of all time. And I've had these for years. This is like the one, very first like one I finally owned all of them, like in a, like a whole series. So I love the show so much. It's one of the best sitcoms, uh, late 90s, early 2000s sitcoms, NBC sitcoms of all time. It's amazing. How much like they, uh, history-wise, this show went down in history as like you know the first like LBGT series that was on main network that was like you know prime time. So it's amazing and I love it. It makes me laugh every time. So there's all my TV shows. I have this little blank spot. So hopefully someday they'll be filled. I don't buy a lot of TV shows, so it's been a long time to even get it like this. So work in progress. So we are done. That was my entire movie and TV show collection overview. I hope you enjoyed, I hope I didn't disappoint. Um, I hope this is what you guys have been waiting for and been asking about. I had finally had time to freaking record this video and finally get all the ones that I've wanted to show. Um, but I will be doing more updates as the month goes on. If this is not like the last video about my collection, there will of course be monthly or you know, whatever bi-monthly um, videos about that still because of course I still collect movies and stuff. Also next month or the month after that I'm going to show you my entire K-pop album collection because it used to be on here but because I had so many gotten so many in such a short period of time it was really hard to display them unlike my movies I want to display those so I have an entire shelf in my room that's all my k-pop stuff that I will show you if you guys are interested in that. I hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching subscribing and commenting like always um yeah, I hope the wait was worth it. <laughs> um, I mean, my, my I don't have as many as others. You know, I don't have like this whole room like some people do, or thousands, or you know, thousands, you know, like thousands of movies, or you know, like five bookcases. That's not that's not me. You know, I'm still I've only been collecting for like a little over five years, if not just a little bit more, five, six, seven, something around there. So you know, it's like, and I buy other things too. So whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the crappy lighting and the babbling and 
all that jazz and out of order things, you know, like when I get new movies, they like just fall off, like they fall in between. And when you have like weird shelving like this, it's like, it's bound to just kind of get messed up and I just too lazy to get another bookshelf. Like what's the point? So I got room here. I'm cool. So yeah. Um, yeah. See you guys soon. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.